What is up, you lovely? Thumbs up, beautiful people. How you guys doing? Firstly, before we get on with this video, I just want to apologize. Hay fever, pressure in the head. I'm going to try and really focus on not sniffling uh, in this video. I had a comment from uh, someone on one of my last videos about sniffling, which is really annoying, and I'll try my hardest to not to sniffle. But, oh, man, so much hay fever right now. Anyway, this is, uh, we are, we're at a national, a national park, a regional park. I don't know if you can see that. Woo woo karung 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 woo woo karung woo woo karung regional park just outside of Ballarat park the car in Ballarat road out here maybe five kilometers um and this is probably this is day three on the wheel we have done total of what have we done 50 50.4 kilometers I've put some all weather uh, tape on the screen there I actually ended up let me get on the wheel and we'll, we'll chit chat. How far, how big can we get this? Yeah. I actually ended up on, a, in the middle of a flipping rainstorm yesterday, uh, out on the wheel, and I'm so happy. Oh, yeah, I've also put the the Veteran Sherman pad, the pads that came with the unit. It's so nice. I don't know if you know this, but they, they actually mold, there's a shape to the side panels here that she mold and fit in perfectly so I thought I'd give them a go um, I'm not too sold on them at the moment uh, I find that the back portion for braking is sort of put me in a, like more of a lean length forward position um, but I do like if you watch the last video I was finding that my toes, I was on my toes a lot, and there was a moment there where I almost flipping flew off. Um, so I'm thankful for the this bit here, we, but I might just make some of my own out of some foam. Also found the big beefy knee pads. I'm looking into getting some of those, you know the ones with the shins, the shin knee pads? Uh, but we'll see how we go. Anyway, it's good. I didn't want to, uh, it's not really a, a review, it's just more of a Neil's out on his wheel again. Um, it's just so nice to, like I was in Ballarat uh, doing a bit of work for a customer for the domes and um, finished early, had the wheel in the car. Uh, I've only charged it once, uh, I've only done 50 kilometers for a Sherman, that's nothing. And um, yeah, I just thought, you know, I'm going to see where I can go. And I left the car in town and uh, thought, you know, I was going to ride out to town and I typed in, you know, scenic spot or regional park and I found this place. Sorry for the sniffle. And yeah, I just rode out 10K with no worries, no worries at all. Um, I was actually on the road for a little bit, which I'm a little bit, I would never, never go on with my other wheels I just didn't feel safe or stable um, but this has that little power that little bit of extra boost to um, I know maybe not so I'm not trying to advocate riding your wheel on the road I think it's quite dangerous um, especially you know I've only got the wrist guards and the knee pads and the helmet I'd like to be more padded up and I think this is something I'm going to look into for these future long long rides because um i'm gonna have to be on the road to you know to be covering some decent distance i don't want to be stuck on pedestrian uh, pathways and you know obviously uh, especially for these <laughs> bigger roads we're going to be rolling on Whoop. we might be uh, i think this is a uh, the right way hello yes yeah, is the right way i think this is like a lookout point Anyway, so yeah, thinking about upgrading the padding and future future riding. But uh, I tell you what, after that first first ride after unboxing, the day after, my legs were a little bit tired, like tight, uh, and the lower back as well. I think because I didn't have any pads, but now I can like really. If you've not had pad, you can like really just lean into it because 
I set it on strong. It was on strong from the beginning. You've got your, your easy, medium and strong uh, for the foot pedals. And I've had a go on all three. And I find that the medium's really good for being a bit more nimble and dynamic with a wheel. Because you do get uh, softer pedals. Um, which is a bit more, makes it a bit more agile. <laughs> but, um, oh yes, let's look out this way. But on, on strong, it just stops that pedal dip, but you really need to uh, push in with your shins. So I'm going to stick with these Sherman pads for a while. I just like that they came with it. Um, but yeah, it's quite comfortable. But just getting used to the weight, you know, but with that weight becomes it's so like stable on the road and that big fat tire um, and I'll tell you what I went uh, I went 50 I was cruising at 50 I managed to get it to 50 which is a lot man like 50 kilometers is crazy um, but it was sort of accidental I was uh, oh look at this this is quite nice isn't it um, and that's the thing, though, you buy, I've like, hired new cars and it's just so quiet inside and so, it's like you're floating. And you just don't realise, oh shit, look how fast I'm going. You have to slow down a bit. Um, and it's a bit like that with the Sherman. I, uh, you know, being on the V10, oh, there's pollen everywhere. Ah! <laughs> the V10F, limited to like 30 kilometres and sitting back, never riding near the beeps. Um, so being able to fight, like to sit at 40 or 45, but you know that's territory where I need some upgrade the. Okay, so here we are at the the lookout already. Upgrade the um, the padding and stuff because that's certainly something I need to do. Oh, it's quite a nice lookout actually. Yeah, so that's the city of Ballarat. Probably looks massive on this giant wide angle lens. Um, I'm filming you on the GoPro Max because <coughs> I love the horizon lock. Like, you can turn it down like that and it just sorts it out itself. It's incredible. But uh, I don't film 360 because I'm lazy for editing and stuff, uh, which does look cool because it like gets rid of the pole. Um, anyway. I like it. Whoop. The new GoPro actually uh, does the horizon lock as well, so that's cool. So it's going to go for a cruise around here. And like I said, it's just so nice to be able to not have to worry about the battery. Yeah, this is awesome. Super cool. I did take it for a ride this morning with a dog. And it was raining all day yesterday and I ended up going on this really muddy trail and it got so full of mud inside I've just managed to pick most of it out because it was rubbing which is really annoying but uh, the mud guard check out the mud guard if you can see that that mud guard let me just show you I'll show you why not if we can do this um, can I do this anyway the mud guard I think is very cool. It's the thing with the Sherman, you have to bloody hug the thing to... It just clips on. I was like, got out of the box, clips on like this. Look at that. It's got these little uh, plastic sort of teeth grippers at the top. And on the side there, that just clips into the side of the wheel. So, so convenient. And I actually pour this off, give it a quick spray, get all the dirt off. I pop it back on. Um, very cool. I really like that. Um, I've not had a chance to try the seat. And look, it's just solid. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, I really like that. Really like that a lot. I like it a lot. Uh, one thing with the, the Sherman, I find I'm holding into the handlebars a lot. I find these super convenient. Uh, and for the most part, just like... On my other wheel, I would, I would, you know, grab the the handle inside. But I find even just just quickly, if you just want to push push the Sherman, yeah, it's really handy. Um, 
I have noticed that these caps on the end of the charging ports are a bit, they're just not tight enough. So I wonder if we can figure something better out, something for that. Uh, and yeah, getting going on this, it's good to give it a little kick, kick start and then lean into the shins there. Whoop. But yeah, that tire is just beefy. It's a, it's a whole different experience, which I'm sure I've heard from, you know, like the V11 is a whole different experience of that pedal height and that sort of stuff. We could easily get lost here, but we're all right. Because we've got loads of charge, we can go for ages. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a bit of a, a learning curve to be had because of this extra weight, but I felt the same when I was on the V10, going from that little V8. Oh, sorry about niffles, sniffles, sniffles. I, know, I thought it was just a quick short video cruising around this uh, little park here on the Sherman, little quick update. Um, and I tell you what, it just uh, it just makes me want to ride more, to be honest. Like, uh, just being restricted with the battery. Um, I mentioned in the other video, my phone, I got recently got the Poco 3X NFC or something. Super cheap phone. Um, but the battery life is amazing. I just don't worry about battery on my phone anymore. And it's a similar feeling with this wheel. Uh, just, to, just, I'm just so relaxed. I know, and I've just got endless amounts of batteries. Someone made a really good comment on the unboxing video about uh, the longevity of the batteries because there's not as many charge cycles. I'm not, I don't know a lot about batteries or voltage. I'm not one of those. I mean, maybe I should look into it. I like the advanced function you can push on when you look at the voltage uh, on the wheel. And uh, that Marty, he was saying around 89 volts is where you're at 50% where you need to sort of ride a little bit slower. But I mean, man, some of these guys sitting at 60 kilometers is, uh, yeah, it's pretty keen. But you know, who knows? Who knows what we'll be doing? Because on the road, it is so stable. It's just, uh, you sit at those speeds, you're not gonna get that distance anymore. But you know, what are we cooking at now? It's just 35. And this feels nice, you know? 35, cruising on these roads, which is, pretty much all the riding I'll be doing really and uh, yeah this is great I've actually pumped up the tyre to 30 psi because I wanted to ride on um, some roads which has been good but yeah so far so far so good guys uh, Big learning curve, not big learning curve, but learning curve for sure. Um, and I was thinking about, you know, whether this is a beginner wheel. It, it just, I just wouldn't get it as a beginner wheel. It's better to train, train yourself on those smaller wheels. Um, and you know, you have the inconvenience of this giant wheel. Or just go for the big wheel and figure it out. If you're like in the sticks like this and you're up for adventure riding, you want to get out there why not man you know just take your time limit it you don't need to be going 60 cooking at 60 that takes a lot of experience and even then you know you're pushing the boundaries it's like it's a lot in it but this is uh i have no idea where i am just cruising cruising there's not much else i can really report back you know, I've not had it long enough to be honest, <laughs> but it's comfy. I just, uh, I'm finding I'm becoming less, less tense in the hips and the legs. When you first learn to ride an electric unicycle, you, uh, you tend to, like any new skill really, 
you overcompensate by gripping gripping a lot should we go up here I just don't want to get a wheel just full of crap inside that's the only thing I find really annoying we're trying to we've got a bit of a hill here let's see how we do uh, we'll use these little pads take our time that's a pretty good uh, grade of hill here's another viewpoint <laughs> yeah and I've not experienced any um, severe pedal dipping which you know what we need to realize is that all most of these videos that have that came out were from uh, those first units of Sherman's and also a lot of them were passed around and they just got absolutely hammered uh, so yeah I've not I've just not experienced any of that it was a concern because I've seen it on the videos and you worry about that and obviously it's a safety thing but honestly man I've not in the medium mode I uh, I experience the dip but that's because it's softer um, but yeah not not really like you can see here I'm not doesn't seem to be dipping seems all right I feel really safe on it uh, the only moment was on that first video where I just didn't have any uh, support for my shins because because it's heavy and it's on strong you really have to lean into this little this beast to get it going um, and I just didn't have that connection in the shins and that's why I sort of uh, almost bloody flew off the bloody thing <laughs> so I've ordered uh, this these motorbike motorbike mounts for the front and clip them on here you probably see people with the little knobbly bits uh, and that's mainly so that when I'm not on the wheel I can actually just lay it flat on the back because at the moment there's not really anywhere for it to to go you can sit it on the yeah maybe I can show you you can actually sit it on the mud guard I'll turn this off like that it, oh no it doesn't do a very good job on a flat surface it sits on the mud guard look but it's just wobbly so what I'm saying is like what do I do now where I don't want to lay it flat because I don't want to get it scratched don't want to lay it forward because it will hit the headlights can't lay it back so I've got some of those knobbly bits these ball things that come out here you've probably seen them uh, I got one off eBay I'll, uh, if I can remember I'll pop them in the link they were like $18 and they just a um, little hex screw Allen screw thing they pop on there so they'll be they're in the mail I'll uh, tell you all about when I get them but yeah wow so good so good I've no idea where I am how long we got 20 minutes I'm gonna keep these videos relatively short um, so yeah guys thanks for thanks for sticking with me on the YouTube channel I uh, now I'm making videos again and I've got a bit of uh, inspiration from this new wheel
Alright guys, take it easy and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Ride safe.